Hello and welcome to a new video about my step drivers, my stepper motors. Today I want to explain what idea I've got that those things are fitting better. I want to build an auger car. Auger, yeah. What is an auger? Yeah. An auger. Uh, in German it's Förderschnecke. Yeah. It's yeah, an auger. In, in English it's auger. Yeah. Uh, what is an auger car? I want to have something um, where I have two augers, one on the left side of the car, one on the, on, one on the right side of the car, so that it looks like that, yeah, that we have here, one side, second side, here are some Bearing stuff and so on. Yeah. This is how this should look like from top view. We are talking about top view, right? And those are not just some flat things. I want to have here this auger on one in this direction and the other one in this direction or vice versa it doesn't really matter why <laughs> why because if i move now both in this direction i can move in this direction If I now bo move both in this direction, hmm, I could move in this direction. If I'm moving one in this direction, one in the other direction, then because of these this, this tracks, yeah, I will move in this or this direction, depending if I'm turning it that way or that way. Yeah? Because it is moving, it's an auger, it is moving, yeah? And so we can either go this direction or go this direction. That's the idea, that's the idea that I have these this drives and I want to have here, here, I want to have, I want to have it driven with, with a belt, huh? belt drive, and here are my my motors, my stepper motor one, stepper motor two, and here I've got the belt drive. Stepper 1 and 2, those things here are belt drives. Hmm. Here I need a bearing as suitable and here we have our augers. Auger and they need to have a a different spiral. One is going a right hand helix, one is a left hand helix. This is how this should look like. Right? I even bought already here some parts. Yeah? This is the belt drive I want to use. The belt drive. Here, one, one at the shaft of, of my auger, one at the stepper motor. Yeah? So I have to somehow think how I can I can regulate the tension or adjust the tension yeah this should be that yeah then here I have a little little bearing axial bearing <laughs> really really tiny yeah and I also of course need need 
radial bearings. I also have some here. Yeah? And then I have to construct here some, some, some bearings. Yeah? I have to make those bearings adjustable. Mm -hmm. We will see. I want to use I want to use stuff like that. Also show you. Stuff like that for mounting. There's a these augers yeah, to a shaft. So I have a five millimeter shaft. Everything is five millimeter here. Yeah? I have a five millimeter shaft. And I have then to construct this here. Let's see. I need here some axial bearing. Ah, yeah, axial bearing. On both sides, I need an axial bearing. So here is here's my shaft. This is axial bearing. Here I am inside of some actually I will make it it's not that it's not that easy with with these types of pens. I usually use pencils. Yeah. Here is the shaft. The shaft I will also give a different different color. Yeah. Shaft. And here somewhere I have this radial bearing. Looking like that. Here I have to construct some 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 cover, yeah, which is closing this. Uh, then my shaft will end here somewhere. Yeah. My cover is closing this. And is holding the bearing inside there. Mm -hmm. Here we have, and now I make it simply like that, because here I have my five millimeters shaft. Mm -hmm. Looking quite nice. Axial bearing, radial bearing, and this is the fixed part. And then I have to adjust this here a little bit. I have some I need to have something on the shaft uh, which is holding this Excel bearing inside. And I'm thinking about using using either this already because I can move it. It's it will be clamped on the shaft. I can move it and adjust it a little bit. Yeah. Or this type, this type. So and here we will then clamp this I will not draw, draw it like that. We will clamp this. Huh? And then, if I do it everywhere, I should be able to adjust bearings to... And, and then I have axial support because I can go every direction, right? I read support in every direction. So this is this is what I have in mind. All right. So this is why I call it auger car. Huh? I'm really curious on how this is 
is going forth and back and left and right and so on, how, can, how it can be controlled. Because if I turn this in one direction and this in the other direction, or in the same direction, should also, I should also be able to turn. Should also be able to turn. Well, I'm already curious how this will behave <laughs> right now. It's it's the idea. That's the idea. Yeah. And uh, next time we'll discuss because now we have a totally different requirement for the stepper motor. Yeah? Because this time we need the stepper motor to drive continuously faster or slower. Yeah. And yeah, let's reprogram our program to let the stepper motors drive continuous with a continuous speed, continuous selectable speed, without losing the, the, the benefit of the stepper motor, that it is uh, fixed somehow. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.